guys, it's Flea from Flea Reads. Now some of you have been asking me to do a bookcase tour, so that's exactly what it, this is. This is my bedroom bookcase, it's one of three bookcases that I have. Not that I'm a hoarder of books or anything, no. But this is the bookcase of some of my favourite books uh, now, from the past, from maybe even the future. <gasps> maybe. So, so on top I've got my Detective Comics, like, poster mural type thing uh, from when I was really into graphic novels. Then I've got my scuba diving planner. Yeah, and then some and some bongos. Some bongos there. I have no idea how to play the bongos. And then uh, I got these I got this in Denmark and it's a noddle. It's literally called a noddle. And you just press it and it bounces. It's cool. Yeah. So, uh, first off, we've just got some bits and bobs tins, literally, they say bits and bobs on. And I just kind of put my stuff that was kind of lying around in here. I've got some medals, uh, a kite that's folded up, some Lego figures, and my gum shield for hockey. And then I've got Pat um, A Monster Calls by Patrick Ness, I've just finished it, it's quite sad. Then I've got a James Patterson book, Treasure Hunters. And then I've got the Pointless book, which is like one of those things like Reckless Journal. It's by Alfie Days, and you just kind of fill in the blanks. So it's something like um, draw a selfie or um, design your own album cover. And then I've got a middle school book. I don't actually have the others right now because I think they're at my dad's house. So, you know. And then I've got a uh, Mort by Terry Pratchett. My mum gave this to me, she recommended it. It's called Goodnight Mr. Tom. And then we've got uh, some other books that I'm trying to work my way through, uh, like Billy and Me, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. Now, as you know, I love John Green. It's one of the um, John Green books that I really like. And then I've got All the Bright Places. I got that while I was in New York. It's very, very good. Apparently they're making a movie of it. Hmm. First off, I've got a picture of me from Harry Potter Studios. I did it at Christmas, and look, it doubles as a snow globe. Yeah, and it's me on a broomstick. Yeah, and then after that, I've got one book uh, by Soman Chanini. I don't know how to say his name, uh, but it's the School for Good and Evil. Uh, I don't actually know where my where the other two went. That's the third in the series, and I don't. I actually just want to show you this. It just looks really cool on the side because it's got like that old feel, you know. And then all the Diary of Wimpy Kids. Um, I think a couple of copies are missing, but I, uh, I don't think so. Uh, and then I've got some books that I loved when I was younger. Uh, they're called the Geronimo Stilson books. Um, basically, they're like books for people who are learning to read. There's a lot of pictures and the words on a whole page with the with the writing, there's lo loads of pictures in it, and it says like wooden and rocking horse and crying and stuff, all in different fonts. So they they look quite cool. I used to love them. I used to be obsessed with them. Um, then I've got some mini horrible histories books, and then some dark diaries. I don't know where the others are. Uh, I've just got the righteous butter. Um, lost that rubbing feeling. Why not try the righteous butter? That's just some, you know. Uh, and then I've got uh, another Dork Diaries mini book called How to Be a Dork. That's cool. <laughs> and then I've got Chris Riddell Goth Girl books. Chris Riddell actually came to my school. Uh, that's how I got the copies. It was really cool because he just drew everything. It was really cool. He's a very good drawer. Shall we go on to the third shelf? Let's. So, first off, we've got Michael Morpogo Christmas Stories. That's to read at Christmas, you know. Uh, and then I've got a Minecraft handbook because I used to be obsessed with Minecraft. Um, then uh, some Captain Underpants. I used to love Captain Underpants. I actually got the Collector's Edition, which had a um, an exclusive bonus CD with all the songs. 
And then I've got a, ooh, a very good book, the Graveyard Book. I would highly recommend this. It's by Neil Gaiman, and if you just read it, it's so good. It's like the... My dad called it the artistic peak of graphic novels. No, he called Watchmen that, actually. <laughs> so, you know. And then Moon Boy, which I really liked. Moon Boy, the, the Blondie Years. And it's by a comedian called Chris O'Dowd. I don't know if you know him. Do you? No, I don't know. Um, then we've got Geekhood, which is about a geek who meets a girl. And I actually put post-it notes in so I could remember all my favourite bits. And then we've got Chris Hadfield's autobiography. Chris Hadfield is awesome, guys. Chris Hadfield is my role model. Because Chris Hadfield spent decades training as an astronaut and has logged nearly 4,000 hours in space. During this time, he has broken into a space station with a Swiss army knife, disposed of a live snake while piloting a plane, and been temporarily blinded while clinging to the exterior of an orbiting spacecraft. Um, then we've got Never Always Sometimes, that's another book that I picked up while I was in New York. I did a book review of it, go check it out. Now I've got a book I read a long time ago called Tiger Tiger, about some baby tiger brothers who are, it's about the cruelty of gladiators, the, the two tiger baby brothers are forced to kill each other. It's so cute, just a tiny baby little tiger. Harry Potter, Order of the Phoenix. Uh, some some of the Lemony Snicket books, a series of unfortunate events, twelve. Uh, the penultimate peril. Yeah. Some Sea Quest books. Uh, the DVD of um, Thirteen Going on Thirty. Um, Skullduggery Pleasant. Grandpa. Uh, some David Williams books. Grandpa's Great Escape and Demon Dentist. So uh, we've got my book basket here. If I just take out some of the big things, so I can actually get to it. My magic eight ball. Hello. Um, and then I've got two things that I got in America, which is uh, everything you need to ace math in one big fat notebook. I think that's pretty self-explanatory. Uh, and then I've got everything you need to ace science in one big fat notebook. Uh, and then we've got the book of totally irresponsible science. Oh, I think I'm going to do a video where I'm going to try out all the weirdest experiments in this book, so watch out for that. <laughs> oh, I remember when I had this. My first dinosaur encyclopedia. I got this when I was so young, and I used to look at all the pictures, and then look at all the comparisons between the human and the thing. This is such a flashback. I haven't seen this in ages. This video feels all nostalgic now. I've got my um, school memory book here. Do you, want, do you want me to read you my memory? <laughs> there is a dent in one of the desks in I1, and whenever I see it, I can say that my head made that. I had dropped my pencil and was looking for it under the desk. I came up too fast and hit my head. Ouch. So, you know. I think that's all, guys. So thank you very much for watching, like and subscribe, check out the book reviews uh, of some of the books that are on my shelf and comment down below if you would like to see a book review of any of them. Thank you for, thank you for watching, like and subscribe, bye!